This video is an introduction to conditional statements in R. And conditional statements are what we use when we want to check if some condition is true or not. And we've used those uh, for subsetting data in vectors and filtering data in dplyr. And in those contexts, we've seen statements like weight is greater than 50 or species is equal to dm. And these statements generate a value of a different type from other things that we've looked at that's called a logical. And the value that's returned is true if the condition is satisfied or false if the condition is not satisfied. And so if we check to see if the string ang was equal to the string ang, we would get back the value true. Whereas if we check to see if the string ang was n equal to the string cora, we would get back false. And these aren't the strings true and false. If they were, they would be in quotes. These are a special type of value specifically for communicating uh, the concept of, of true and false. We can generate these conditional statements using a variety of operators. So we've seen equals to before. We've also seen not equals to. Uh, and so the condition here is ang is not equal to Cora. And so that is true. So we should get back the value true. Uh, we've seen greater than and less than symbols for checking to see if one number is bigger or smaller than another. And we've also seen uh, greater than or equal to and less than or equal to for seeing if numbers are greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. Uh, and we've seen uh, is.na for checking to see if a value is null. There are also other types of operators. Uh, we haven't seen all of them yet. One useful one uh, is in, which lets us check to see if a value is one of a set of a vector of values. So if we wanted to look and see uh, if Zuko was in this vector of values, which includes Ang and Toph and Katara, we would see that it's not there. Uh, if we then added Zuko to this list, then it would show up as true. And that in keyword is surrounded by percent symbols uh, in the same way that the pipe from dplyr is. And so it's percent, in, percent. That's how we create the in operator. And if you haven't seen Avatar The Last Airbender and Legend of Korra, uh, I highly recommend checking them out. We can combine conditions like we saw in dplyr using AND and OR. We use the ampersand sign, uh, shift over the 7 key, uh, for AND, which means that if both conditions are true, return true. And if only, and if even one of the conditions is false, return false. So if we said five is greater than two and six is greater than or equal to 10. Here, first five is greater than two will be evaluated. That's true. So then six is greater than or equal to 10 is also evaluated. That's false. And so this will return false. If we want to use or, we use the pipe symbol. And the pipe symbol 
means if either or both of the conditions are true, return true, and only return false if both conditions are false. And so if we said, again, 5 is greater than 2 or 6 is greater than or equal to 10, 5 is greater than 2 will get evaluated. That's true. And so since this is or, even though 6 is greater than or equal to 10 is false, we'll still get back true because at least one of the conditions is true. When conditional statements are applied to a vector of values, comparing it to just a single value, it returns one logical per value. So it compares each element in the vector element-wise to that single value checks to see if the condition is true, and then stores true or false in a vector that comes out as a result. And so if we said we've got a vector with some numbers in it, 1, 1, 2, 3, and 1, and we check to see if that was equal to the number 1, what we'll get back is this series of true and false values, a vector of true and false values, and it was generated by saying, is 1 equal to 1? That's true. Is 1 equal to 1? That's true. Is 2 equal to 1? That's false. Is 3 equal to 1? That's false. Is 1 equal to 1? That's true. And this kind of vector that comes out of this sort of comparison is what the subsetting and filtering approaches that we've learned about use to do their filtering. They keep the values where the value in this condition vector is true, and they get rid of the values where the value in this condition vector is false. So let's look at an example of this where we've got a vector of sites and a vector of states. So we'll create our site vector and we'll just give these letter names for sites. So we'll have uh, site A, site B, site C, and site D. So just the four letters, those are the names of our sites. And then we'll create a state vector where we'll say that our states are Florida, capital F, capital L, Florida, Georgia, capital G, capital A, and Alabama, capital A, capital L. And so if we ran a conditional statement to check if the state, the value in state was equal to Florida, we would get out this set of true false values because it first checks to see if FL is equal to FL, that's true. FL is equal to FL, that's true. GA is equal to FL, that's false. AL is equal to FL, that's false. So we get out this vector. And what that means is that if we do what we've done before, which was to subset the site vector, so we said site, and then square brackets in order to get a piece of it. And then we've said state is equal to FL. And so we only get back site at A and B. What's actually happening here is that this is getting run. It's creating this vector of true and false values. And then the square brackets are using those true and false values to return the values for site where that vector of values is true. And we can see this because we'll get exactly the same result if we say site and then subset with square brackets. And then instead of providing it state is equal to Florida, we provide it a vector with the values true, true, false, false. And we'll get back exactly the same result. 
And this is also how dplyr's filter and basar's subset work. They uh, create these vectors of true and false values and then keep all of the elements uh, in the vector or the data frame that we're filtering or subsetting uh, where those values are true. So that's a basic introduction to conditional statements in R. We write a condition uh, with an operator uh, that determines what kind of comparison we're trying to make. And then the conditional statement will return true if that condition is satisfied and false if that condition is not satisfied. Those values are called logicals and can then be used for doing other things. And the thing that we've seen them used for so far is subsetting data by only keeping those values uh, where there's a true associated with it and getting rid of values where there's a false associated with it. And so we've seen statements like weight is greater than 50 or the cloud. Good morning, data carpentry. If I was the man I was five years ago, I'd take a flamethrower to this place. 